you're worried that your employees do not like you. My natural reply to this is that if somebody doesn't like you, don't worry about it. Not everybody's going to like you. But in some cases, the information that we have from other people's reactions or maybe the things they say can actually be really useful in determining some of the things that we could work on. So don't think of it so much as people not liking you. Think of it as data. And here I'm going to present five reasons why your employees might not like you and then you will be able to work on these deficiencies and make them into strengths. And so you might actually be wondering, why do I even care if my employees like me? Well, actually, so we know that liking leads to trust and trust is crucial for highly effective teams and organizations. So we need to establish liking to establish trust because that is a foundation we need to build great teams. Okay, so reason number one why somebody might not like you is you inhibit their autonomy. And the thing is, is that autonomy is a basic psychological need and people need to feel like they have control over their lives, control over their tasks, control over some of their work projects. And if you have somebody that really needs a lot of autonomy and you kind of come in, maybe you're a teensy bit micromanaging, maybe you feel like they need a lot of direction and you're trying to help them and maybe you get met with a very resistant attitude that might mean that this person has a high need for autonomy or that you are encroaching on their autonomy so how to fix this maybe have a conversation how someone could take on more ownership of a project or a task in order for them to have more freedom and more autonomy all right reason number two you are insecure and fearful and you are overcompensating and that sounds really harsh and I would like to preface this by saying that we are all insecure and fearful to some degree and we have all our little things that we can tend to be more or less insecure about. And the thing is, is that sometimes when we are extra insecure about something or when we, when we feel like this insecurity is being brought out, we can overcompensate. So maybe you can think of somebody as, you know, someone that really is very boastful because they're very insecure about their value. And oftentimes if someone is boastful, people can start to kind of not want to be around that person as much because it is not as pleasant to be around someone that is boastful. So this is a really good time for us to really reflect and think about the things that we have a lot of fear around a lot of um, and why we might have this fear. What is the what is the root cause of this? And really to understand this, um, it might be effective to seek out therapy or coaching because really having this insight really digging down into these insights is difficult sometimes by, by yourself and it can really help to have another person showcase your kind of your patterns to you. Reason number three why your employees might not like you is that you are judgmental and so we often know that judgment really comes from a place of being somewhat unhappy or dissatisfied. And so if you are dissatisfied with something, you might showcase it in judgment. The thing is, people hate being judged. They just don't like it. It doesn't feel good and it makes them really, really defensive. So if you are someone that does a lot of judging, like maybe you say a lot of judgmental things and maybe you think that this is maybe helping people, um, maybe stop, maybe consider stopping it maybe consider being a little more open-minded because that will allow people to relax and be more free around you. And for the fourth reason that your employees might not like you is that you don't like yourself. The thing is, is that a lot of us are our own worst critic. And this is true even for leaders and for employees. And the thing is, is that the self-talk we have in our heads, we think that is only happening in our own heads but it actually has a lot of repercussions in our lives. We know that negative repetitive thoughts actually lead to a sympathetic response. So it makes us biologically more stressed and people can pick up on this. And the thing is, if you are self-critical in your own head, oftentimes it leads us to be critical of others, which goes back to the previous point of being judgmental. Oftentimes it is difficult to not hold people to the standards we hold ourselves. So when we are highly, highly critical and unsympathetic toward ourselves, we are often like this as well to others. And so really the key here is to start finding more compassion for yourself 
and that that will trickle down to other people but the key is to start with yourself and to remember that you are human you are okay and you are allowed to have mistakes you're allowed to have times where you don't feel amazing it is okay and you're doing the best you can and so is everybody else all right and the fifth and probably most important reason why your employees might not like you is that you don't like them so we know that when somebody truly likes us it's actually quite difficult to dislike them we like people who like us and if you don't actually like your employees if you're really seeing their negative traits instead of their positives they're gonna pick up on that and we can feel it so even though you might think you're doing a great job at hiding it oftentimes this is something that is subconscious and it can be picked up on in nonverbal cues so really actively start thinking what are the things I actually like about my employees? How can I flip this negative into being a positive? Because the thing is, every strength is also a weakness. And so it's really in the way we view things. And if we were to view the strengths of our employees and try to foster those and try to grow those, it's actually a lot easier than trying to stop the things we don't like. And it'll lead to more trust and a better relationship and overall a happier work environment. And what else could we ask for, right? So I hope that this was helpful and I really encourage you to watch my video on trust in the workplace because we actually know that trust actually leads to higher profitability, which is a benefit that I think everybody would like in their workplace. All right, I will see you guys next time with my next video. And I just realized I forgot to introduce myself. I am Alessa, I'm a leadership and high performance coach and I hope you subscribe to this channel for more content like this.